What's good? What's up, Messy Mob? It's your girl, Messy Maya, and I am back again with another motherfucking video. So, chow, 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 chow. Listen, Stunner Girl done quit baddies, and now the CEO of Zeus is officially looking at ET slash Scarface. He posted it on his Instagram. We are going to get into it all and what I think is going to happen and why I really feel like they want to bring Scarface onto the show. But nonetheless, I am excited. They have finally been looking at our comments and finally have stopped ignoring our com comments, basically rooting for ET. Because baby, you can only ignore so many of us, okay? Because down those comments, especially when they first dropped the cast, okay, the girls were mad that ET was not listed as one of the audition picks for the cast. But I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. So, you know, every single time I post, let's go ahead and get into it, child. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Okay, so this whole thing started when Stunner Girl went to her Instagram story and basically revealed that she was no longer going to be a part of the baddies cast and tour. She quit the show. She said she is out. Let's get into it. So first she took it to her story and said, Stunner girlies and stunner boys, I will not be on Baddies Ease due to issues with the network, not with the cast. Laugh my ass off, I'm out. Fuck I look like performing for 1500 to 2K and missing my bookings for 20K and up. Y'all got the wrong bitch, nerds. Then basically she posted the reaction to fans and said, laugh my ass off, lose subscribers. So me personally, I feel like Zeus definitely deserves this. I feel like this is what they get. I feel like Zeus and Natalie treat baddies. I, I feel like they treat the whole baddies franchise as if it's a high school popularity contest. Bitch is not a high school popularity contest. Why the fuck are there only celebrities, washed up ass, old ass reality TV stars, celebrities, quote unquote child, whatever you want to call them, and influencers? right? Or people that already have a big platform. This is what you get when you give someone with a platform another platform, okay? This is this is what they get. This is what they get. Y'all are so focused on making it a high school popularity contest. Y'all are so focused on getting people with a name who have clout and who have popularity and who have fans. You're so focused on that that y'all don't realize I'm not going to call them divas, but these are the bitches that are going to know what they're worth. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that a, stra that a stranger off the street or from the auditions is not going to know what they're worth, but they're going to put up with a lot more. Okay, they're going to let certain shit slide because they're going to be happy to just have a platform. But see, you guys focus on the girls that already have a platform, but the girls that already have a platform technically don't need your platform. And a bitch who don't need your platform is going to walk off fast if you are not giving them what they are worth. And don't get me wrong at all. I absolutely love Stunner Girl. Anybody on my channel that has been um, with me since Baddies West came out, I absolutely love Stunner Girl. I feel like Stunner Girl is really good TV. I feel like Stunner Girl is beautiful. I feel like her music, mm, not too bad. You know what I'm saying? I always express how she isn't the best fighter, but she's not pussy and she's not going to let anybody play with her big or small, okay? And I always respected that about Stunner Girl. I was so happy when I figured out that she was coming back to Baddies East. However, however, here's my thing. If Think about it. Stunner Girl, before she came, before Stunner Girl became a reality TV star or reality TV personality, Stunner Girl was an artist. Stunner Girl was a rapper. Okay. So I would think that she would take her craft serious first. So if you're bringing her on this platform to basically showcase her music and perform in front of a crowd, blase, blase, blah, right? You guys are making millions of dollars off of this girl. And I know by far, I know, I know, I know that it isn't Zeus. It's not Zeus's fault that basically Stunner Girl, Stunner Girl was going to be getting underpaid for her performances. But do you really expect for Stunner Girl to go from a $20,000 performance fee to perform and, and a, a, a host booking, uh, perform whatever 
to a $1,500 one, $1,500 to 2K, like that is a huge pay decrease. So, and then she said for the show, she would be missing $20,000 bookings. So why the fuck again? So this is my thing when I say, although I do like Stunner Girl, I feel like she's great TV. She's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? She would have been amazing on Baddies East. This is what Zeus gets for trying to put on bitches that already have a platform. This girl already has a platform. You know what I'm saying? And it's cool. Okay, bring her back. That's cool. That's fine. But what did you expect? You're you're so focused, again, on making it a popularity thing, on bringing clout to Baddies um. It's on to Baddies East because you guys feel like that's the best formula to um bring bitches on that already have clout and that already have a platform. But I'm telling y'all, the bitches with a platform don't need your platform. Like her or love her, Stunner Girl was the talk of last season. Okay, that girl is great TV. But let's move on to ET joining the cast. Okay, so as you guys know, E.T. was one of the girls from Now That's TV that did audition. So if you guys don't remember, I am going to play a little clip basically refreshing your memory. Although, child, you really should know who she is, but I know some of y'all don't. So I'm going rep- to play a little clip just to remind you. TV star. I know my worth. I know I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> I stand my ground. Y'all know I got them thumpers. I was on what? Y'all know in the crutch and all. Wait, like, so you said you were a reality star. What? Sh- I, I, I swear I'm not being disrespectful. What shows have you been on? I've been on South Central Baddies. I just did this. Next! You gotta go. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. No, wait, no, back, she gotta back. go. She the one that tried to bank me. She gotta go. Okay. What? <laughs> yeah, because she gotta go. Wait, wait, hold on. No. I'm I'm asking a real question. Because I don't, I, I promise you, I don't watch TV. I do TV. Uh, you said you, you on what show? Baddies. Baddies. I've never watched that before, okay. show before. <laughs> but Krishan just went, said something to me. I'm going to be real. She, she was said, on there. So what's up? You got a problem with my sis? You no, got a problem with it? You got issues with Krishan? Any beef? No. What beef do you what have? What beef did y'all have? That, uh, <laughs> she just jumped in a fight. That wasn't stuff. her fight. Somebody That's it. She's a, she, she, and you know, I had to have, have a conversation her. with her. Okay. And, when, and when I seen her at Baddie Swag, when I seen her at Baddie Swag, we had a conversation. Don't dismiss my sister, but you ain't gonna dismiss my sister. Okay, I said dismiss. I said fuck her. Dismiss. Okay. Okay, so everybody caught up to speed. Okay, cool. So anyways, shortly after Stunner Girl basically went on a rant on her story as to why she quit Baddies East and why she will no longer be on the tour, Chow, the CEO of Zeus, he basically, to promote um, their booking tonight, in the caption, he basically said this. Tonight, DC pull up on Baddies East. Ladies, we're already looking for replacements. Who is ET? Y'all want her on Baddies? So, Chow, I don't know if y'all follow him or the Zeus Network online, but whenever they throw little shots like that or subliminals, basically hinting towards something, it always ends up happening. So, at this point, there is no doubt in my mind that E.T. will become one of the replacements. Me, personally, I feel like they play with E.T. both at the auditions, and I also feel like they play with E.T. when it was time to basically reveal the cast. Because why wasn't E.T. an original? You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm going to take what I can get, and I'm not going to speak too much on it because, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to block the Lessons, child. Lord knows I want ET to eat. I want her to do well. And I, Lord knows I want her on the show, okay? I want her on the show. Y'all already know this. But I feel like they're playing with ET and I feel like they're high key. I'm not even going to say there. I'm going to say Natalie. So I know Natalie has something to do with this because if you guys don't know, now you know. Natalie has been going back and forth with both Krishan and Krishan's sister. I feel like Natalie is doing this to piss off Krishan, okay? So I I do feel like EC is going to come, but I feel like there's some type of there's some type of hidden agenda behind this. I don't know, child. Maybe it's my trust issues. <laughs> because here's my thing. 
everybody was already rooting for ET before the cast drop. That's why that's why half of us were so excited. Like, drop the cast, drop the cast, drop the cast. And they knew that, but they still didn't they didn't pick her to be an original. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like there's some type of hidden agenda behind this. Whether it's to ruffle Krishan's feathers, because as you guys can see, Chow, when E.T. came up on that podium and basically went to the auditions and auditioned in front of them, Krishan was bothered. Krishan wanted nothing to do with her. E.T. was very apologetic, but that still was not enough for Krishan to be like, okay, girl, like, it's okay. No, Krishan was, uh, it, it looked, Krishan looked disgusted even at the thought of E.T. being on the show. So I feel like... This is low-key a dig at Krishan because Krishan and her sister are basically against Natalie right now. Um, you know what I'm saying? And calling Natalie out for being weird and being disrespectful and putting on for the cameras. So, yeah, child, I feel like I feel like this is purposely done, child. I feel like this was a uh, strategic, child. I feel like this, I, I don't know. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Although, whatever the reasoning is, I am very excited for E.T. to come on the cast. I do know that her and Rolly are cool outside of the show. So I'm glad that she will at least have somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody. Like not saying that Rolly's going to beat the shit out of Tzatziki or Krishan for E.T. But I feel like, you know what I'm saying? For at least moral support, at least E.T. will have somebody that she is familiar with or that she knows on the show. She is also cool with DJ Sky. Which is also weird because... Uh, DJ Sky and Krishan are supposed to be best friends, but Krishan Ben already called DJ Sky out for being fake. But let me know how you guys feel about this. Um, just a quick video, just to update you guys on what's going on with the Baddies East uh, show. But let me know how you guys feel about ET joining. How do you guys also feel about Stunner Girl leaving the show? Let me know what's T in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you guys know every single time I post. It's Messy Maya. Bye!